G'day guys and welcome back to another video. Now, prior I said that Bless Unleashed didn't have endgame and I meant it. It had no endgame whatsoever. The normal endgame we would typically see from other games like raids and legendary gear, that was not a thing and still is not a thing. However, we are actually getting a form of endgame and here is everything you need to know. Some of you, most of you know about the post that was updated on the website. However, this information is notorious for being either incomplete or incorrect. So I urge everyone to take this information with an absolute grain of salt because I definitely am. Now, the only thing that strikes me out here being weird and wonderful is that they're saying to find the weapons might take months. Find. I don't know about you, but I'm not playing RuneScape with clue scrolls. I'm not going to be hunting around the map looking for this weapon that might be in a box hidden between some trees and a mountaintop. You know what I mean? Like, I just found it scares me. Powering up the weapon, taking days, months, years, doesn't really matter because that's content. That's what we've been asking for. So it actually pushes you to do something and logging into the game to make your character better, to become more powerful. So that is a welcome change. However, getting these weapons is questionable. It's questionable because of these next screenshots. All right, full disclosure, the pictures that you're about to see did not come from me, and if I get in trouble, I'm definitely blaming you. So as you can see, this is an S grade T weapon, and it requires a recipe. So recipes, God knows where these come from. We have no information on them yet. Basically, it has a lot of purple stuff that we've never seen. I guess this will be involved in that heavily grindy, collecting goods and whether it be from open world or dungeons or abyssals or whatever so i'm sure that there's a lot of things to do to get each and every one of these materials to finally craft this weapon this is pretty much what the bow looks like i kind of like the protective shield i think that's a different and interesting coming from a ranger it gives it a little bit more survivability i don't know if it's actually kind of worth it maybe in pvp people will be running this bow i'm not really into the pvp scene um however it has a 27 percent chance to create the hero's will buff for seven seconds when attacking heroes will buff right so let's have a look at that heroes will 27 percent chance right keep that in mind can be stacked up to five times increase attack power by 83 and crit hit damage 4.05 five times now apparently this hero's will is on every single s weapon as well as whatever skill or whatever function it's doing above that so you can definitely see why they're going to be worth way more and valued and obviously people will be striving to get these weapons why wouldn't you this is this is going to be the end game s tier content that we've been screaming for for about six seven months Still excited? Yeah, you won't be for much longer. Check out our next picture. Our next picture is basically the artisan repair tools used for repairing a piece of equipment that was damaged during a failed fortification attempt. This can only be used on S tier equipment. Right, so does that mean we're only gonna be able to use these repair tools for S grade gear? I would assume so, 20,000 cores per failed attempt. So for the people that don't know about enchanting and upgrading your gear, or enhancing I should say, don't want to trigger anyone here, enhancing your gear, it fails a lot. The chance is high, it is substantial. So 20,000 cores, that's basically two days approximately of farming, farming, farming. And I'm not saying like it's 10, 20 hours. It's not, it's probably only a couple of hours, but I promise you every failed attempt, that two hours is going to feel really bad. So are we still all liking Endgame yet? Eh, I'm on the fence. I thought that was pretty rough with the 20,000, you know, cores for the failed attempts. However, I think this one is way rougher. 50,000 souls, 50,000 right so chaotic energy energy obtained by defeating unique enemies right so i'm thinking maybe proper elites or bosses right that makes sense 
It is said that it was obtained from defeating mutant monsters in the old chaotic times. So that already sounds pretty cool. So I'm kind of digging it. Used for ancient weapon upgrades. So obviously there's going to be other ways to obtain this. Anything that was generally in the Soul Merchant was not really worth our time or investment. So I really hope that they do do something with Souls and make it worthwhile to grind for them and to use them effectively. And last but not least, if you're a part of the CBT for the PC version of Bless Unleashed, you would have noticed the time dungeon bar at the top of your screen with your other instances. So basically, these are currently level 43. 43 basically they did say that the level requirement may change i personally believe 43 is too high for the people that have been playing since launch they've kind of just hitting that mark so we're talking about 12 months straight and i mean straight every day grindy straight so 43 i think is a bit of a leap from 30 Hopefully, they make the dungeons 30, 35, 38, 40, 42, 43, 45. It gives people the incentive to kind of keep going, keep going a little bit more, a little bit more, almost there, a little bit more. So having that leap from 30 to 43, I think that will kill it for a lot of people. So hopefully that doesn't stay. Long story short, these dungeons will also reward S-grade gear. Will they reward the weapons? I don't think any of us saw the weapons or recipes drop from these boxes. However, it did contain S-grade gear. Will you be replacing your A-grade gear? Most likely, as it will offer higher gear score and way more bonuses. The attack bonuses were huge on some pieces. Again, all subject to change. I'd rather not show anyone that just because it might very well change and there's a high probability of that. So there's those kind of things you need to worry about. Will you replace all your A pieces? Maybe not, simply because that some pieces might be better than the higher grade gear, much like they are now. So there's B grade pieces that are arguably better than A grade because of the stat weights that they give and the DPS that they can dish out. So there are interesting circumstances, but look, as far as all that's concerned, at least we're now getting Endgame. It's something to look forward to. We've been waiting long enough to actually see and hear about progress and what's happening. To be fair with Bless Unleash, and I was a critic for a couple of months leading up till now, is that Corona was a hell of a year. I wish everyone the best of luck and hope everyone is well and healthy and hopefully not going batshit crazy about being locked inside. But in all seriousness, I think they've done a decent job about getting content out. And if we're going to start seeing this type of content moving forward, I believe there's going to be a strong, healthy player base for Bless Unleashed when it releases.